Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on the old stream farm. Right, I must have restarted this about four times today due to the fact that OBS decided to delete all my audio settings and I didn't even notice <laughs> until I went to edit. Right, so we're going to sell some canola. We have canola over in the uh, in the silo. We've got about 3,900 litres. The only issue we've got is we can only sell, we can only move 3,000 litres worth. That's the only downside. Um, yeah, the, the trailer doesn't hold anymore and we've got 3,900 litres. So it is a little bit of a letdown. So we're going to have to make two trips to sell it all. And uh, yeah, so two trips and we have to sell it to the train. Now, we are going to quickly just sell this over to the train, and then we're going to move into January. Now, I wanted to be in January at the start of this episode, but then I realised that there was... Um, yeah, we. I then realised that we had some canola to sell, so we, we need to get rid of that because it's a little bit of income for the farm, basically, and we definitely need as much income as we can. Now, we've got £63,000 in the bank, um, I did check the loan between recordings, guys, and I was right. We shouldn't have had a £200,000 loan. Um, the game must have started me with a £200,000 loan, and I didn't check it. Um, I watched the first 10 minutes of the first episode where we were talking about the equipment and what we were going to do in this series. And, yeah, we definitely shouldn't have had a loan at all. So I did give the money back for the loan, and I also gave the money back for the reimbursement of the loan payments just because at the end of the day we weren't supposed to have it Ortenberg Ortenberg right so yeah I've got to just make a quick run back for the remaining 900 leaves this is where having a front loader on this tractor would have been really really handy um, I do think it's maybe time to look for an upgrade in a trailer I think for the first harvest, this tractor, uh, this trailer did exactly what we needed. It got it harvested, you know, we started with it, it's relatively cheap. But we do need something around about maybe the, I'd, I'd like to say about the 10,000 mark. Because at the end of the day, if we can get 10,000 litres in a trailer, I think we're not going to need anything more than that with the size map we've got. And if we do, then we'll buy a bigger one when we need it. Um, but you know at the end of the day this did a job that job is done it was a really good one it was relatively cheap it, get, it did everything we needed so now it's just a case of grabbing the last couple of uh, the last almost 1000 litres like I say we could put the canola in the the pig area i don't see the point we we make canola through our greenhouse for the pigs that's the only reason i'm doing pigs on this series is because the greenhouse will do the majority of the work um and we'll just we'll just let it do its thing but yeah i think once we've done this we're gonna look at a new piece of land as well now we're not really gonna be able to get anything planted in it it's now winter um but we might be able to get some spring wheat some spring barley in it maybe something something like that the indicator on this tractor doesn't work I think I've said that before yeah I've got a few issues with this tractor guys um, that I am trying to fix through but if I don't end up fixing it I'm probably going to end up just changing uh, changing it and taking the mod out like I say it was one I it was one that was converted, but it had issues when it was converted. And I've been working my way through the issues, but to be honest, I keep forgetting to fix some of them until I use the tractor again. Um, right, so well, that's there. So we'll leave that to do its thing. Um, we'll rent the uh, we'll rent the train. There we go. The train has been rented. Beautiful. But we'll leave that in there. And we are looking for the train. The train is not on the map. Okay, so this 
Did I rent? I definitely rented the train, didn't I? Yeah, return rented train. It's 2.4 kilometers away. Right, it's quite a distance away from us, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, we need to go to Ortenberg up there. Or we can, I don't know, we might just go to that one up there, actually. All I know is we need the train to be here. Which way is it going to come from? Is it going to come from my left or my right? Let's have a little game. I think it's going to come from the right. Not seeing it. Where is it coming? Yes, it's coming from the right. It's coming from the bottom. Yeah. Now, if you said the right, guys, well done. It was just a little game while we were waiting. Yeah, we, we, we literally have to wait for the train to arrive. This is one of the reasons I don't like trains on a map. You can end up waiting ages for a train. I, I could have just jump cut it. I kind of wish I did just jump cut it. I didn't realize it was going to take quite so long to do, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't realise it was going to take so long. Although, I am going to reverse it all the way up there, guys. If you look on the map, I think that going up to there is going to be quicker than going all the way to there. I don't, oh, I don't know, actually. It probably swings and roundabouts. There she comes. I'll tell you what there was, and I'm just curious, because I can't remember the name of the map. Do you remember the map on Farm Sim 19 where it had a it had like the flying Scotsman locomotive train? I never, never managed to play that map. I never managed to play it. Um like I say, I only got into Farm Sim about six months before 22 came out. And yeah, I I did it and I started playing it because I got bored um playing. Um other games and stuff and yeah that's why i was like you know i took a bit of a break from streaming and stuff well to be fair it wasn't really a case i took a break from streaming that's when my internet problem started um for the streaming and i just couldn't hold a steady live connection right like i say it's still waiting for these to uh, sort themselves out really so to get this new internet i know one thing though guys they are pretty close to connecting people's houses directly um all the boxes are installed in that now um i saw the company's vans installing it on wednesday when i picked my daughter up from college and uh, yeah they they are mega close to being able to connect people's homes up for it so hopefully then we'll be able to bring some live streams back hopefully Three thousand one hundred and fourteen pound and a little bit of environmental score. That is not bad going, that guys. That is not bad going. I can't believe it's been eight minutes just to sell that. That train is so slow. Um I think in future what I'll probably do is if I need to sell anything at the train place, I'll probably try and remember to jump cut it because that that was just a nightmare. That was just that was just a nightmare. I don't see the point in uh, keeping me watch doing that. I didn't realise it was going to take so long. Um, oh, that's twice I've come up here now. Because like I say, I have technically pre-recorded this once or twice before when I realised OBS decided it no longer wanted to uh, add my audio. Like I say, guys, it's one thing after another. And I, I knew I should have checked the audio because Windows had a bloody update yesterday. And before anyone says it wasn't an automated update, I did let it do it manually. I kind of wish I didn't now. But yeah, I did, you know, I made, I made sure everything was working today. Except the one thing I didn't check was the audio. Mental, isn't it? The one thing I didn't check was the audio. Right, we have got to go into January now then, guys. Uh, I don't know why I went that way. Well, that was a long way of going round. Um, the house door is open, so let's get into January. And hopefully we can uh, crack on with some more work.
I'm, I think we should have some more products from the gardens. We should definitely have some more products from the gardens. There we go. Property maintenance. 500 pound a month in property maintenance. Like, I already know there's going to be products up here. Just because, you know. What have we got in here? Oh, wow. That's £4,000. How much is ours worth? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What is our cedar worth in money? £8. We could make £4,000 here by buying that used one. Just saying, if we were to buy the used one and sell ours, we could make about... Well, if we take it to this shop, we could make some serious money there. I do apologise. I know this machine is bloody loud on the uh, on the microphone. My steering wheel went off then the minute I t the minute I touched my uh, side panel. Right there we go. Right, let's see what we can do here. I know we should be able to get both of these in like that. There we go. That's, well, I, I did knock the other three out of alignment, so that's going to slow me down a little bit. We've got a little bit of corn. We've got a little bit of sunflower. It can go into the, uh, like I said, it can go into the cow, uh, into the pigs. I nearly said cows. There we go. How are we doing for pigs anyway, pig feed wise? Um, got plenty of that, plenty of that. We need, we need grain. The problem is the only grain I've got is for the chickens, and there's no more harvesting now until next year. But we are gonna not be giving them grain. I gotta be honest, guys. I really do like this uh, Massey Ferguson. Uh... Skid steer. Yes, I know. I kind of just lifted that over super strength, guys. I I, I didn't want to come all this way for just one. I thought it was a long way to come for just one thing. So if I can just move these three here, we'll see what we've got. I'm definitely gonna con go and swap that. Um... Definitely going to go and swap that. What is it? There we go. So, some corn, some sunflowers, some potatoes went in there. Um, yeah, look at that. The only thing we're missing is a little bit of grain. Right, where's the Ford? The Ford might as well go and do this. We, we might as well make a couple of thousand pounds. Now, I know it does mean we'll have an old machine that will probably want some repairs at some point. Right now, I'm not really interested in repairs. Um, we, we're just trying to keep, you know, the bank afloat. You know, I want to get a new field. I want to get a little bit bigger field, if I can. Ah, that spawned that through the door. Yeah, we use this for, we've used this for five hours. 5.8 hours. It, it's not like it's a lot. I really should have slowed down there, guys. So I do apologize for that really, really bad role play or playing there. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, but yeah, if we can go and make, what, £8,000 on this machine and then buy another one for £4,000. I know it's, I know it sounds daft, but it puts us over the £70,000 mark. 70000 in the bank. It should mean we can get a decent size... Um, Decent sized field, I think. Uh, hopefully, if there's nothing in it, we can prepare the field while it's winter and then get like a, a spring barley or, a, yeah, or a spring wheat in it. A, some, something spring related. I'm hoping anyway. Um, let's have a look. So we've got that. We can repair it for a pound and we can repaint it for 736. We can sell that for 10 and a half thousand pound 
I really made a mistake there, shouldn't I? I should have bought this one first, just in case it disappeared. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm not arguing with that. There you go, guys. We traded a brand new one in for a second-hand one, and we've made... What, five, five and a half thousand, six thousand pound in profit there? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure someone's going to be like, oh, Reaper, you, sh you know, you maybe shouldn't have done that one, but... I, I feel like that was a a good thing to do. That was money in the bank. We've still got the same cedar, but what does it really matter? What's this done? This has done 5.8... Guys, this has done the almost the exact same hours as our old one. Apart from it was only £4,000. No, 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 no. Ignore me. That five tap. That five hours, <laughs> five point eight hours, is my tractor, not the, uh, not the work machine. It's ignore me, ignore me. I'm being a wally. I'm being an absolute giant wally. <laughs> I'm completely getting confused there. Ignore me. Reaper's making a mistake. But yeah, I'm, I'm I am more than happy with. Uh, with that progress of the uh, of the bank now it's january guys which means which means it is maybe a very good time to sell some silage now if you remember rightly we do have some silage over in from the previous contracts i was trying to sell it at the best price possible oh there we go save point that was handy um and today we've got a price of 191 it is the best price possible right now. Or we keep... No, I don't I don't want to feed the cows to you, man. I've already said I weren't doing that. So, yeah, let's go and get the trailer and go and sell some silage. Now, like I say, next episode will definitely be in a new month. Um, I was hoping to maybe skip January this month as well, but that price for the silage is too good to miss. Too good to miss. Right, let me put that there. Right, we need we need the noisy thing. Yeah, I, I know this is a really noisy machine, guys. So I do apologise if it's a little bit difficult to hear me. I can hardly hear myself over the headset. Which is why I think it's very loud. Oh, they, they're very heavy. I've got a weight on this as well, and they're just about going on. Looking good. Yeah, I just find this Massey Ferguson. I w I'd be even better with it if I zoomed in. I tell you what, let me just lower that noise down on that on that sound there. It's the added bonus of having a slider, you know, on a, on a Go XLR. If I can do that. There we go. Really? Why? Why? Why are we sticking? I've got no idea why this won't let go. There we go. That was weird. Yeah, front loading skills are improving. And if anyone comes in the comments and says, your front loading skills suck. Yes, I know. That's why I'm trying to spend a little bit more time doing it. But yeah, this machine, I really do like the skid steers for this kind of work. Uh, I find the skid steers a lot easier to use than... Um, And the what is it? You know the front loaders? 
Got nothing against the front loaders. I just find the skid steers a lot easier to use. I can kind of maneuver them a little bit more. You know, they're a bit more nimble for the maneuvering of the things. And basically turn on a... You know, on the spot, basically. It's when stuff like that happens that I get a little bit flustered, like... Because I'm not very good with it. Then it starts moving. You know what I mean? Like that, it's annoying, to say the least. Um, right, we need... Oh. I was going to say we need to get two more on there, but... It's going to be a little bit difficult, is that? So, let me get that. there put that in the middle and hopefully we'll get these two on there like i say i could have jump cut this but i want you guys to see my front loading skills are improving i am impressed i know it's a skid steer but still my loading skills are improving Right, that did not go right. That did not go right, guys. That did not go right. Right, can we do this? Let's have a look. I want to try and do this and put it right. Because this would be something I struggle with normally. If I can... So I brought the forks closer in together... We should be able to get that in there. I just want to get a little bit more scent. There we go. Yes. Now, I know it did kind of fall between them bales, but that was just because the bottom row of bales moved. I I like that, guys. I am I am relatively impressed with myself, if I do say so myself. We we'll, might as well go to the animal dealer. I know where the animal dealer is. I don't know where the biogas is. Tell you what, let's just... Let's have a look on the map. Oh, to be fair, the biogas is... Biogas is closer. Let's go to the biogas. It's closer. It's the same price. Means we don't have to spend as much time running around. But yeah, that should be us pretty much done in January, guys. So we should be jumping very soon into February. Um, I can jump into February for the end of this episode. We don't have over much time left in this episode. But we can jump into it. Got to be careful here, guys, because this is a relatively big trailer. Yes, I did it. Aha! Yes. Right. So, if we go this way... Oh, where are we going? I'm a little confused here, guys. Where are we going? Right. Well, there's the biogas. I know what the biogas looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. Can we definitely? Can we sell here? Just want to make sure we can actually sell here. You know what the biogases are like on some maps. I don't let you buy it. You don't let you put anything in unless you own it. Um. That would appear to be the case on this map. It would appear it doesn't work. Oh, okay, right. It does work, guys, but yeah, you have to actually put them in. I'll have to do this by hand, guys. I've got no other machinery here. What I might do is I might buy a front loader for here. Um, You know, like I did on uh, Bally Springs at the biogas before we bought it. There we go. Yeah, I might just, like I say, I might just put a, a skid, a uh, front loader over here. Might even just buy like a cheapo tractor, whatever the cheapest tractor is. Just something to uh, do that with. Nice, six, 680 including the vi environmental score. So that's not too bad. It's not too bad. 
We could have definitely got a better price um, on a different economy, but on hard, that's not a bad price. It was the best price we've seen this year, so we can't really argue much with it. Like I say, I weren't going to make TMR. I was going to just keep them for the best month, and that's it done. Um, January is complete as well. So we finished December and we finished January. If I go into February now, um, I've probably got some bits to deal with again. Um, let me just get that over here. I'm going to leave that over here in future. I think that's going to be a lot easier to leave that there. Yeah, I've probably got the animals to feed, things like that. So I'll probably jump into February in a minute and do the animals. And then that way we... In the next episode, we can jump straight on with a little bit of work. If there is any to do, if not, we'll jump straight into another month. But there's nothing we can do at the moment. Nothing at all. Sorry about that. Just took a minute. Oh, no! No! Oh, oh look oh look what's come up guys look what's come up 130 brake horsepower for 23,000 pound for real that's a good price we could upgrade the old yeah I I think we do that what is the old school Massey on um 2.6 hours 24 grand 18 mile an hour 20 hours 24 miles per hour we could up it to 130 brake horsepower it's for free as well wow um and what we can do is we can put a front loader attack yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. let's go do it guys let's go do it i know i said i was gonna uh, feed the animals and that let's get the massey ferguson Let's go and get the Massey Ferguson. Now, I do like having this old school Massey Ferguson around the farm. That is just too good of a deal to pass up. And it's not really going to cost us any money at all. I actually don't think it'll cost us any. Because you get paid more if you take the tractor to the shop. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it kind of fits our time scale Without double checking it. But I don't see why it wouldn't. But yeah, it would be quicker than this. It means the tractor's more useful on the farm. Um, oh, I didn't bring cosplay into this series yet. I was going to. Yeah, that. I, yeah, I, I can't believe we've got a new tractor. So what have we got? Bye bye, Massey Ferguson 188, is that? Yeah, 188, bye bye, Massey Ferguson. So what can we do here? We can repair it, we can repaint it, and we can sell it for thirty-one thousand pounds. Now that was a that was a good price. Twenty. So if we do that, we'll put a quickie front loader on. I do like the uh, I do like the the what is it ones? Uh, number plate. I just want back only. We can have. Yeah, we'll go for the used red colour because we are buying it used. One and a half thousand pounds for that. We don't really need that. We don't need... Oh, I do like that Massey Ferguson sticker for £45. Um, now, rows wide. I'm, I'm just looking what tyre options we've got. Wow, there's a lot of... There's a lot of wide tyres. I do, I do like the BKTs. No, them ones will do. 24,853 pound. Right, if you just give me a minute, I just wanted to double check something. Right, there we go. Um, excuse me, mate. I want to buy a price of front loader for this new tractor. What I'm thinking here, guys, is this is for bailing work. Um, I know we've got the skid steer for the farm. But I'm thinking for the uh, for the farm. I think we'll go with that one. Uh, we could go in Massey Ferguson Red. 
And we can go with the black colour there. That looks a little neater. If we buy that... And then we buy a bale... I'd, I would rather just have another bale fork, to be honest. Um, front load of tools. Although it is for bales only. Um, that's not a bad one. What have we got? What other options have we got? No, no, no. No. I'm torn between that one. I'm torn between that one and the lizard P PBCE 780. That one does fold. I'm not really bored if it folds, but... Um, no, I'll tell you what. We'll go for that one. Uh, so we'll buy that one as well. So yeah, it has... Alright, in theory, it has cost us a little bit of money. It hasn't cost us much. We've still got £72,000 in the bank. I'm, I'm mega impressed with that. Let's have a look. You have to forgive the lag there, guys. It's because of that, like, stuttering and stuff after the update. That is fantastic. Yeah, that is an upgrade. That is an upgrade. Now, like I say, it's always nice to keep the Massey Fergusons on the farm. You know, that old school one. Um, but at the end of the day, this is a relatively good upgrade. Twice the horsepower. We can add a front loader. That is fantastic. That means we can use the Ford to pick up and move the, you know, the trailer. And we can use this Matty Ferguson to load the bales onto the trailer. That is fantastic. What an upgrade. We've now got a Matty Ferguson 3120. Nice. What that is a, yeah, proper good upgrade is that. I'm really, really impressed with that. And that has taken us to the end of the episode though, guys. I didn't get the uh, animal work done I was going to do. It did take a little bit longer than I planned. I don't know. I do apologise for that. But in the next episode, we'll we will have some animals to feed. Um, we're not going to use the Massey Ferguson, un, you know, front loader for baling work on the farm. That's what the skid steer is for. Um, although we could we could sell the skid steer, but I don't want to. I like to have a skid steer on the farm. It, I think it just has its use on the farm. But there we go. We have a Massey Ferguson. Another Massey Ferguson on the farm. Now, if anyone says, well, oh, Reaper, yeah, but it's a Massey Ferguson. Oh, we can sell that. We can sell that. Um, Just before I end, I, I will do it just as we end. Um, Because at the end of the day, that was for our Massey Fer... That was for the Massey Ferguson. You know, the, the one we've just sold. Um... Right, I can't, I can't reset it, guys, because it's too far. There we go. If I just reset it, and then we just quickly travel up to the shop, because, like I said, we we don't, we're not going to need that now. Uh, the Massey Ferguson comes with a three-point attachment, so we will just sell it. But as I was saying, guys, if we can, uh, you know, we've we've had a really good upgrade. If anyone's like, oh yeah, but you got another Massey Ferguson, what is it with British people, Massey Ferguson? Guys, I had a Massey Ferguson. That came up in the discount store. If it had been a John Deere and it was a decent price like that, I would have probably got the John Deere. But it wasn't. It was a Massey Ferguson. Uh, £2,374 for that, guys. Right, we are back to where we were then, guys. That tractor did basically cost us nothing. So, yeah, I'm really, really, uh, really, really impressed with that. Right, I'm, I know I'm just lifting this into it. I'm just going to move it over here into the shed to get it out of the way. But, yeah, other than that, guys, I am done for this episode. I did say that like a minute or two ago. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the purchase of our new tracks and our wheeler dealing on the Cedar. I'm, I'm quite impressed that we got that as well. So uh, until the next one, guys, which will be tomorrow, we will be back on the Old Stream Farm. It is the weekend, guys. It is going to be my new weekend series. And uh, until the next time, guys, I will see you all later on.